Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very very good evening I bid to everyone. At the moment it is 6 quarter past 6. Uh, so we still have that one I think one hour before we break our fast. So how's your day? I hope everyone is doing fine uh, at home. Uh, if you have any problems maybe you would like to you know give me a WhatsApp and 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 see how I can further help you. Okay. But um, the reason what I'm doing today now is that uh, I'm, I'm recording you the section C, the second activity. Okay, we had the first activity for section B. We already have uh, the first activity for section C. So now I'm recording the second uh, activity for section C. Um, the title for today's writing or essay analysis will be the ghost movie. And this activity is taken from Brita Harian Dede. So I would like to credit uh, Brita Harian Dede. Uh, and it is taken from the 30th March uh, 2020 Punya issue. So let's not waste our time because I hope to finish everything, this thing, uh, before at least like five minutes before we break our fast. Okay, I'm going to share with you this work. All right. Now, I do hope that you can view this work and uh, you will. I hope I have recorded it well as well and share with you guys as well. I don't want to record this for the second time or the third time, like what had happened uh, during the uh, second video. <laughs> All right. Nevertheless, let's go straight to our business. So as I've mentioned earlier, it is taken from the date 30th March 2020 and oh, I got a typo here. Okay, and this is my class, Mr. Warit's lesson. Mr. Warit's, I don't know, Mr. Warit's lesson sounds a bit cheesy. Let's go with the words class. Mr. Warit's class and 014, targeting for uh, your essay writing, 014 section C. And this is a video made spe specially for uh, SK Kubang Kriantika, uh, but if you're not from SK Kubang Kriantika, by all means, you can still um, watch and listen to what I have to say in this essay. All right, as I've mentioned earlier, there are many errors in this essay. Uh, if you got used to it, uh, find the errors in the essay, okay? Find errors in the essay, okay? Now, the reason why we're going this is that if I if I only ask you to copy down an essay, it won't be fun. So, in order to ensure that you learn something from copying things, okay, then let's do it the tough way, okay? All right, so this is uh, a dummy that I have created or uh, that I have written for you guys. <clears throat> and this is the way how we're going to discuss about this thing. We're going to go through one sentence by one sentence, okay? Sentence by sentence. All right, let's go to the first paragraph and the first sentence. Now, next Saturday, Mr. Ali and her wife has to attend a company dinner. All right. I'm going to bring down my tool. Okay. Next Saturday, Mr. Ali and her wife has to attend a company dinner. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, not earlier, I think, as I've mentioned in the past videos and as what I have always tell you in the class, when you write section C, uh, most of the time it should be in past tense. Um, if, if I have to say, um, Past ten is commonly being used when you write narrative story. Only lately, only lately that people have started to use present tense together with past ten when they write the narrative story. But trust me, mixed tenses normally will bring you into the hell. Why? Because you got mixed up the whole thing. And then you uh, got confused and then you end up ruining your own work. So I always advise and I would like to advise again and again that only stick to one tenses unless, okay, unless you are doing um, a dialogue in your essay, then that must be written in present tense, but still depends on the context of, of the, uh, the dialogue itself. 
Okay, so next Saturday, Miss Ali and her wife has to attend a company dinner. As I mentioned earlier, cerita ni telah berlaku, so uh, the whole thing must be written in past time. So the time frame next Saturday adalah tidak sesuai. It is incompatible with the situation here because next next ni benda yang akan terjadi. It's a future tense, okay? So, bila ayat tu dalam future tense, then the whole story ni tak boleh jadi dalam past tense lah, kan? Because time frame dia pun dah salah dah. So, in order to ensure the story ni tally dengan the time frame, so next Saturday has to be changed with last Saturday. Baru kita tahu that the story has taken place in the past. Okay, had taken place in the past. Alright, so last Saturday, not next Saturday. Uh, kalau next Saturday itu, benda tu tak terjadi lagi. But, bila kita bercerita sesuatu cerita, that it has to be written in past tense because you can only tell a story if that thing has been done or has, take, has taken place. If the story had not taken place yet, then it's kind of like a bit impossible for you to tell a story. Cuba, cuba bayangkan that you have to tell a story about things that are going to happen tomorrow. Okay. Benda nak berlaku esok macam mana? Esok saya akan sini-sini. So, you're quite limited in terms of you punya uh, the way how you can tell the story. Okay, that's why secara uh, ilmiahnya, naratif ni kita guna ataupun kita banyak tulis dalam past time. Okay, you can only tell a story kalau you tulis dalam past time. Alright, last Saturday, Mr. Ali and her wife has to attend a company dinner. So, we have detected next salah kepada last. Now, Mr. Ali and her wife. Okay. The second mistake dalam this sentence is the word her. Why kita tengok ni guna her? Why we cannot use her? Because her is specifically for woman. And Mr. Ali is not a woman. So, we have to use his. Now, sometimes you got confused. Her ke his. Her ke his. Now, what is, kalau you guna his equate dengan lelaki dalam lelaki ada I, kan, you see the I here, so ada I dekat dalam his alright, and dalam her, ok ada perempuan such as ER here remember, you see the ER here ok, wait, I have to change this to black ok Alright, so this ER and this ER. So this is how we associate our first language and the second part. So his dengan her. If you got confused, yeah. you tanya lelaki. Dalam lelaki ada huruf I, so kita guna his. Dalam perempuan ada ER, so kita guna her. Okay, if this is um, the trick if you get confused lah nak guna his ke his. Okay, uh, oh, sorry, his or her. Alright, so I'm going to delete this. Oh, okay, so her, kita kena ubah, we have to change to his. Okay, Mr. Ali and his wife has to attend a company dinner. As I have mentioned earlier, you tengok kat sini last Saturday, right? So last Saturday is an indicator that this thing has happened. So, kita tak boleh guna has. Has ni adalah dalam present. Okay, so kita guna had. Oh, sorry, I have to erase this. Okay, kita kena guna had. Alright, had to attended a company dinner. Now, menghadiri perlu menghadiri had to attended a company dinner. Now, uh, attended. Attended is an issue here. You tahu kenapa attended is an issue? Sebab selepas attended, sebelum attended, before attended, there's a two. Okay, there's a two. We call it two infinitive. After two infinitive, we cannot add anything to the verb. So, the verb must be written in its root form. Okay, no additional information has been given to the root word. So, no S, no ING, no ED, alright, to attend. But, is this sentence still reflect the past tense? Yes, it still reflect the past tense. How do we know that it reflecting uh, the past tense? That 
kita ada to attend and the other parts of the sentence are written in the other parts of the sentence uh, is written in the past tense okay so last Saturday Mr Ali and his wife had to attend a company dinner okay barulah it sounds okay then you get a tick for this one <clears throat> all right but uh, i wish to attract your attention to the word company Walaupun company ni macam sounds okay, uh, there's another way of going about this. Uh, you can also use the word corporate. 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 Okay, a corporate dinner. Okay, this is to elevate you punya writing to a different level. You know, instead of using company, you can also use corporate. Corporate dinner, right? So, it's fine. You can choose uh, either company or corporate. It's not going to be an issue. All right, so our first sentence, tick. Okay, they leave their daughter in home. Okay, they leave their daughter in home. Now, they betul lah, they. Because we refer to Mr. Ali and his wife. Okay, so the pronoun here should be they. Okay, uh, leave. Okay, now leave ni adalah cubaan. I mean, it's a nice attempt. It's a good attempt that you try to past tense kind the whole verb. But um, leave is irregular verb, so you have this. It doesn't follow the ed rules. So the correct past tense for leave adalah left. All right. So left, not leave. Oopsie, what what have I done? Okay, left their daughter in home. Okay, now there are two mistakes here. Now. Daughter. If you look at the questions, if you have the copy of the date 30, uh, 30 March too, you will see that actually they have two daughters. So you cannot say daughter. So you need to add S here. Okay. Why? Because Mr. Ali and his wife have two daughters. Okay. So they are daughters in home. Okay. I remember that last time, dalam session, I think which session? Uh, second ke? First, I think the, the second one. He or is it? No, 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 no. I think yeah, maybe. Okay, I, I remember from the previous session. Uh, we talked about home, and then uh, the place that was used was very um specific. Uh, in the uh kitchen. Okay, so um we cannot associate in the home. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit different context. Um, home ni adalah general, di rumah. Then, then you can say at home instead of in home. You hanya akan guna in apabila you are being very specific dengan places dalam rumah tersebut. Contohnya in the bedroom, in the toilet. Tapi kalau you want to say you you tinggalkan anak kat rumah, then you say at home. Okay. Sama lah juga if you say what's your homework? Kan, I tanya you kan, where's your homework? And then you reply to me, I left my homework at home. Okay, tapi if you want to be specific, I left my homework in my room. Okay, tapi kalau di rumah semata-mata, which is very general, tanpa kita tahu uh, the specific area dalam rumah tu, then we use, okay, at home. Alright, they tell their daughters to did her homework. Okay. <clears throat> they. What's wrong with they? This one is in lowercase. It has to be T capital letter. Okay. <clears throat> they tell their daughters. They tell. Uh, tell tak boleh lah. It has to be in past tense. What is the past tense for tell? To good. Okay. Another irregular verb. You see, in writing, I think we use quite a lot of regular verb. So make use to this one. So you have to identify mana irregular verbs yang regular, uh, tapi yang yang commonly used in your essay. Uh, those are the things that you need to master lah. Okay. So they told their daughters. Not going to be an issue. They are correctly used daughters plural because we know we have two daughters here. Mr Ali and his wife had two daughters. Two did. Her homework. Okay, now let's go to two. Remember what I say just now? Bila ada two, what should happen to the verb? It should go back to its root form. You cannot do it in 
past tense and you cannot add anything to the verb like ing, s, ed, etc. So you have to say to do. Okay, to do her homework. Okay, this is another problem. Her daughters betul dah lah. Her tu untuk perempuan and daughters pun perempuan. Tetapi you also have to ask yourself how many daughters are we talking here? About one daughter or more than one daughter? So now in this context we have two daughters. I mean Mr Ali and his wife lah. I still have one daughter. Um, this indicate that uh, the number of people that we are talking at this particular time is more than one. So her tak boleh guna lah. Her is just for a singular subject. So kalau kita nak guna objek yang tandem dengan daughters, maka kita kena guna ya homework. Okay. Sama lah macam contact Mr. Ali and his wife kan. So they, dia. Sama lah juga dia daughters to do dia homework. Okay. Now, homework juga menjadi masalah. You know why? Work tak boleh dikira. It is uncountable now. So, banyak ke, sikit ke, it is still home, homework, no S. Why? It is uncountable now. Benda yang tak boleh dikira. Okay. Now. <coughs> okay, Mr. Ali strict set no television role while they are away. Okay. Ia nak cakapnya, Mr. Ali strict dengan tegasnya mengsetkan no television rule. Tak ada television, meaning no watching television uh, ketika mereka berada, tidak berada di rumah while they are away. Okay. So, Mr. Ali, kita nak cakapnya set. Okay. Set ni macam put lah. Put, put, put. Cut, cut, cut. Dia tak ada ED. Dia tak ada lah put, put, put it. Uh, cut, 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 nah, no. Put, put, it, put, it, no. Keep, okay. Set. Uh, dia tak ada setted. So, set remain as it is. Okay. Setted. Okay, let me wait, wait, wait. Alright. So, setted cannot. It has to be like this. Set. Okay. Set ni maksudnya macam ni, undang-undang menetapkan. Okay. Dia tetapkan. Dia tetap dengan apa? Dia tetap dengan tegas. Bila kita kata dia menetapkan dengan tegas, maka kita mengguna adverb. Okay. Menetapkan. Tapi bagaimana cara dia menetapkan? Dengan tegas. So, dengan tegas tu memberi lebih makna kepada kata kerja tadi. So, strict ni, you tak boleh guna. Okay. He is strict. Kalau you kata he is strict, dia jadi adjective. So, you have to change this, wait, into, into an adverb, okay, into an adverb, so this becomes strictly, Mr. Ali strictly set, ah, maksudnya dengan tegasnya menetapkan, kenapa kita guna adverb kat sini, because we want to talk more about the verb here, ah, okay, no television role, okay, Oh, tak ada jadi masalah. No television rule. No television adalah compound noun. And then rule ni adalah dia punya noun. So, dia compound noun dijadikan sebagai adjektif kepada noun ini. Okay. While they are away. Okay. Can you detect the problem? Good. R. Kenapa R is wrong here? Because R is in present tense and our story is written in past then, good. So, R is wrong. So, we need to choose the word were. While they were away. Okay. Now, let's read again. Last Saturday, Mr. Ali and his wife had to attend a corporate dinner. They left their daughters at home. They told their daughters to do their homework. Mr. Ali strictly set no television rule while they were away. All right. <clears throat> now it sounds better. Now let's jump to the second paragraph. But the girls don't listen their parents' advice. Okay. Oh, very bad girls here. Now, but the girls. Okay, but the girls. Tetapi the girls. Okay. So the girls ni menggantikan the daughters lah kan? So you see the, the shift here from daughters and then now we are focusing on the girls. Okay. 
the girls are the S, so it shouldn't be an issue because how many uh, girls we see in the picture? Two. So, tally, tak ada masalah. So, but the girls don't listen. Okay, the problem start here. Why don't salah? Sebab ini dalam present ten. Past ten dia adalah didn't. Okay. But the girls didn't listen. Then, it, then we encounter another problem which is listen. Kenapa listen ni tak boleh ada ide? Sebab peraturan dia ni. But the girls didn't listen. Didn't listen ni. Uh, oh, Kak Dah hantar message. Sorry, Kak Dah kejap lagi ya. Now, listen ni, uh, dia kena kembali kepada root word. Okay. Dia kembali kepada root word. Why? Sebab the past tense dah ada kat sini. Tidak dengar. Okay. Now, dia peraturan dia sama macam to infinitive. Jadi, verb selepas didn't, tidak boleh ditulis dalam tak ada, sorry, verb selepas did ataupun didn't cannot have ed, tak boleh ada ing, tak boleh ada s sebab past tense dia kita dah Jaya. Ah, yeah. uh, something's wrong. Is it because of the internet? Wait. Let me check the connection first and see whether we are on the right track. No internet. I go. I don't want to record this thing again. Alright, stop sharing. No. Meeting in general, call in progress, good. That network quality, I don't care as long as we are not interrupted. Now, I'm going to stop sharing sekejap and then I'm going to share balik dengan you the files. Where's the files? Sharing this, I'm gonna share here. Okay, good. Now, uh, so sorry for the the interruption. Now, <clears throat> um, let's go with this one. Uh, just now we talk about didn't, right? Now, normally orang akan buat kesalahan macam ni. Did walk, jadi ed. Okay, telah berjalan. Ataupun dia buat didn't walk. Didn't walk, tidak berjalan. Okay. Now, the problem kat sini adalah dia ada ED dekat sini. Okay. Kesilapan dia adalah kerana you letak ED dekat sini. Alright. Selepas so, did ataupun didn't, verb perlu kembali ke dalam root word. Okay. The verb has to return to its root form. You cannot add ED, you cannot add S, you cannot add ING after did and didn't. It's quite similar to to infinitive. Okay. Alright, so I hope you understand this. And that's why didn't hear, listen here has to be corrected. Okay, sebab before listen, ada perkataan didn't. But the girls didn't listen their parents' advice. Ah, okay. The only thing is, kalau you you translate from Bahasa Malaysia to English, tidak dengar, so you think that this is correct. Tapi kalau tak dengar, dalam bahasa Inggeris, you kena tambah another word, which is listen to. But the girls didn't listen to their parents' advice. Okay, another issue that we have here adalah parents' advice. It has to be passive dan perkataan advice kat sini. Okay, ni adalah salah ejaan. You know why salah? Because advice kat sini adalah dalam bentuk verb. Tetapi yang kita nak adalah kata nak kata nama. So, you have to spell it as advice, V-I-C-E. Okay. Parents advice. Actually lah kalau nak cakap, Ali advice Ahmad, 
dan ke bawah kita guna yang BIS tetapi nasihat ahli kan nasihat ahli so ahli's advice ah ni advice dia tu beza dia one is in the verb verb form another one is in noun form okay once the parents gone okay once the parents had conquer will gone okay now once the parents had gone okay telah pergi itu berlaku dahulu okay they quickly switch the television and watch korean horror movie title ju on okay once the parents had gone they quickly switch okay quickly ni adalah adverb nak describe perbuatan switch cepat-cepat dia switch tetapi switch ni switch yang macam mana okey kita nak cakap switch the television ke switch on the television switch on the television okey okey switch on the television and watch korean horror movie title okey and watch tak ada masalah Korean horror movie. Okay. Uh, dia perlu ada a Korean horror movie sebab movie kat situ singular saja. So a Korean horror movie yang berjudul. Bukannya jodol tapi berjudul. So title requires D. Okay. Yang berjudul. Yang berjudul. Yang bertajuk lah. It sounds a bit weird, weird to say jodol. Judul. Alright yang bertajuk. Okey, so title ada ED. Okey, dia bukan past tense tetapi dia adalah bertajuk. Ha, macam tu. Okey. Title to on. Selepas title kena ada koma macam yang ingat tak yang kita buat thank you Ahmad. Ha, okey, title to on. A Korean horror movie title to on. Okey. Oh no, I don't think we need a comma here. Just like this. Okay. No need a comma. Sorry, sorry. Uh, and watch. Okay, now let's read again. Once the parents had gone, kita guna had sebab ini yang berlaku terlebih dahulu. They quickly switch on the television and watch a Korean horror, horror movie titled Ju On. Okay. The first 20 minutes were fine. Okay, the first 20 minutes were fine. Okay, tak ada masalah. Tick. But things start to be came. Okay, start. But things start. Start perlu jadi started. Why? Sebab it is in past ten. Okay. Started. Okay. Alright. But things started to become eerie. Started to be came. So, became adalah past ten. As I have mentioned earlier, selepas tu, kita kena kembali kepada root form. So, became cannot be used. Okay. Dia perlu jadi be become. Simple present ataupun the root form. Okay. Become eerie. To become eerie. Tak boleh ada tambahan S. Tak boleh ada tambahan ING. Tak boleh ada tambahan E. ED. It has to come back to its root form. Okay, to become, started to become eerie after this. After this ke? After that. Uh, so, after that. This ni seolah-olah present tense. Tapi kita nak cerita selepas itu. Okay, bukannya selepas ini. Selepas ini, uh, kita tak tahu apa akan terjadi. Tetapi selepas itu, we know something had happened. We just need to know what it is about. Okay, so that. Lepas itu, bukan selepas ini. Right. The first 20 minutes were fine, but things started to become eerie after that. Okay. The movie gave the sister the heebie-jeebies. Okay, heebie-jeebies ni uh, is a, the heebie-jeebies actually, not just heebie-jeebies. Uh, the heebie-jeebies is like an idiom. Uh, kita nak cakapnya macam it give unpleasant feelings, macam takut. Um, or, or, or I think in Bahasa Malaysia you can equate this thing to meremang bulu roma, okay the movie give the sister the heebie-jeebies, okay so, uh, heebie-jeebies ni macam unpleasant feeling lah, macam perasaan seram and things like that 
Uh, the movie Give, as I have mentioned, this has to be written in past tense. So, Give cannot be used. We have to use the word Give. The movie Give the Sister. Okay, now, Sister kat sini adalah nak gantikan girls. Why? Because kita tak nak asyik repeat the same thing again and again. Then, nampak bosan. So, what you can do is, kat sini dia salah. Dia salah kenapa? Because, we are talking about two girls, right? So, it has to be sisters. Oh, sisters pula. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Sisters. Give the sisters the heebie-jeebies. Okay, remember the word heebie-jeebies? The phrase, the heebie-jeebies. Uh, the movie gave me the heebie-jeebies. The, the story that uh, Mr. Rawi told us last time gave us the heebie-jeebies and things like that. So, in meremangkan bulu roma mereka, meremangkan bulu roma kami. Okay. Soon, they cried historically. Okay. Now, they cry. Cry has to be written in past ten. So, it cannot be cried. It has to be cried. Okay. Historically. His, history ni sejarah. Okay. Yang kita nak cakapnya hysterically. Ni secara hysteria. Menangis yang ala-ala hysteria punya. Not secara bersejarah. Oh, historically. Menangis dengan bersejarah. So, it's wrong. Okay. The word that we are looking for is historically. Alright. Historically, not historically. Okay. Hysteria. Secara hysteria. Okay. So, they cry historically. Okay. Historically. Now, so let's read the second paragraph. But the girls didn't listen to their parents' advice. Ingat ya, listen. Dia tak boleh listen to their parents je. Listen to their parents. Okay. Once the parents had gone, they quickly switched on the television and watched a Korean horror movie titled Do On. The first 20 minutes were fine, but things started to become eerie after that. The movie gave the sisters the heebie-jeebies. Soon, they cried hysterically. Okay, now the last paragraph. Lucky. Oh, nasib baik. Nak cakap nasib baik. Remember what we have discussed last time? We don't say lucky. We say lucky, luckily. So, luckily, their parents return on time. Okay, their parents, tak ada masalah. Return, ada kesilapan dekat sini, which is return require ED. Okay, because it has to be written in past tense. On time. Uh, I should have said in time pun tak ada masalah lah. Return in time. Just in time. Cukup-cukup masa je. Dia orang menangis tu dia orang balik. Okay, return on time ni as they have promised lah. Okay, so on atau in it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, guess what? Ada follow with a question mark. So, tak ada masalah. The girls were grounded for the whole week. Okay, tak ada masalah dekat sini. Alright. So, that's it. Now let's read it from the top. Last Saturday, Mr. Ali and his wife had to attend a corporate dinner. They left their daughters at home. They told their daughters to do their homework. Mr. Ali strictly set no television rule while they were away. But the girls didn't listen to their parents' advice. Once the parents had gone, they quickly switched on the television and watch a Korean horror movie titled Ju On. The first 20 minutes were fine, but things started to become eerie after that. The movie gave the sisters the heebie-jeebies. Soon, they cried hysterically. Luckily, their parents returned on time. Guess what? The girls were grounded for the whole week. Alright, so... As I have mentioned earlier, before kita can say that um, this is our product, we have to ensure that we didn't write more than 110. Okay, so I'm going to kick out the words that I have flashed and make sure that it is not, or the essay does not go beyond than uh, 110. Okay. Well, I mean, at least we're glad that uh, UPSR is uh, postponed for this year. So, we are not that stressful lah, in preparing you guys for your test. Or, I mean, no test, kan? So, we are not that stressful to prepare you guys for your secondary school next year. Okay, now, now it's about you 
working uh, towards achieving the standard before you leave the primary school. Okay, I'm going to kick out the word date. Uh, homeworks, remember here, yeah, homeworks, no S. It is uncountable. If you want to say I have many works, you cannot say I have many work. You have to say I have much work. So I, I thought when I have, I have a lot of works. Okay. Uh, strictly setted, setted, tak ada setted, yeah. Set, set, set. Okay, no television rule while they were away. Good. But the girls didn't listen. Okay, remember yeah. Selepas didn't verb kembali kepada root word. Listen tak boleh ada ed, no ing, no s. Okay. Kerana apa? Sebab dia didn't tadi. Advice. Advice yang vise adalah dalam adalah kata kerja yang kita nak guna adalah kata nama nasihatnya. Okay. Once the parent had gone, they quickly switch on the television and watch a Korean horror movie title berjodoh Ju On. Okay. The first 20 minutes were fine but they get ugly. I, I would love to say it started to get ugly actually. Started to get to become eerie after that. Okay. After that. But you can also say started to get ugly after that. Okay. The movie gave the sisters Hebijibis. Remember the word hebijibis? Hebijibis adalah adalah what? Macam meremangkan bulu roma you. Okay. So, so they cry. Not historically. Historically ni secara bersejarah. What kita nak buat secara hysteria. Okay. So, they cry hysterically. Yelah, you watch a ni, ghost movie alone without your parents, right? Nah, pada muka. So, their parents return kembali, kembali on time. Guess what? The girls were grounded for the whole week. Now, let's, let us check how many words have we written so far. This is 106. Just nice, okay? 106, and I think, based on the standard, you, inshallah, can score more than 22. Okay, all right, so I'm going to stop sharing. So basically, that's our session, our third session, our third session, um, but our second video for section C. So I hope you have learned something and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.